Greetings, this is Pillar Nexus, the Ancient Gladiator, and here to take a look back at the last six months of my channel. Yeah, earlier on things were kind of slow going at first. I was just trying to figure out what what do I do. So I had you know, these introduction videos and eventually I realized, hey, I've got my old game designs, why don't I share them? So that started up the Pillars Game Design Vault series. And I'm I'm wondering if that might might have been a bad idea if I ever want to publish them. But I think I'm at the point where I I really don't care either way. <laughs> also wanna point out these thumbnails haven't always been here. Um I think I first started my thumbnail game with a, a Dragon Sky and I learned that you know my, my thumbnails weren't big enough or actually they were too big you know, something but that was what led me to uh, have thumbnails and eventually fix them to actually fit uh, for YouTube yeah early on I, I tried streaming um, I think I wanted to stream at first and then I couldn't do it so I had to like make a video uh, to pass the time and then I actually got to streaming and realized oh crap things are getting cut out and seeing that this was going to be a, a long running pro problem that just I, I couldn't find a solution to I just said no I can't stream anymore I still want to try at some point but let's you know, let's be real this this place isn't exactly a good one for internet. So eventually I finished out the game design vault series and you know, I'm still uploading from home and uh, early in July uh, hit, got hit by like a couple uh, things that kind of knocked the creative one down to my cells. One was having to go to the hospital. Um, uh, due to some abdominal pain, possibly gastrointestinal stuff, I, I still have no clue what, what happened to this day. But uh, the second thing that happened was Sana graduating from Hall Alive. Uh, that hit, and my I just I was at a loss, man. Granted, I you know not not exactly the biggest fan, but I still thought she was pretty cool, and you know seeing anyone drop out of Hall Alive for any reason, whether, you know, it's choosing to graduate or, you know, getting terminated like Rufio was, was still, that's still a kick in the face right there. Uh, it's just, it, it's going to take the wind out of your sails. It's going to be hard to want to do anything until you can get past it, but I, I, I try to get my shit together and try to figure out what I could do and I had a kind of a stopgap measure in Dragon Sky um, the story time writing vault which was just downright silly and I like I, as, as currently the only story time writing vault entry I have for that playlist is for Dragon Sky um, I wonder if Trying to think what uh, what other game designs I have where I could try to figure out, try to present stories, maybe like uh, Hazard or Unnamed Witch Game or or Heart of Chaos. Those are probably the, the big ideas. But got into August. It's like okay, I need to kick myself in the butt and see what I can do now, and that's where. The Pillar Loves Tabletop Game series uh, got started with Citadels in August. Yeah, this was a series I got really enthusiastic about because I, I kind of have a hard time talking about my own game ideas, but talking about other people's games, especially when I've played them with others and after messing with them at home and just understanding them, you know? It's easier to 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 talk about those. Um, also, you know, uh, 
I finally started experimenting a little bit more with the thumbnails, starting with Terraforming Mars. And, and I'm still uploading from home at this point. Uh, I believe this is uh, right before the crisis happened, which I'll explain in a minute. So it's around this point where you know, I start doing uh, chatting streams, or not streams, videos. So I have the cards sleeping and you know, breakfast. Um, Infamy is the point where, uh, like, not too long after we lost our internet service because due to switching some things around. Um, because my mom went on vacation and someone came in to s switch out our internet and then things didn't get set up right. And, um, we just were without internet after that point. And. So I realized, okay, I'm going to need to uh, start going to the library to upload stuff. And thank freaking goodness that the library is within walking distance. And their Wi-Fi is pretty damn good. Um, the, only, the only issue I have with the library is that sometimes there are people there who are not very respectful of noise levels. Um, so I really don't want to be there for too long. But uh, we continued on with the you know the tabletop game series. Uh, there was a comment on one of those like, you know, you shouldn't you know do the daily uploads because you know you might burn out. It's like and I, it's like I I understand your concern. I didn't reply to it, but I was saying this in my head. It's I understand your concern, but here's the thing. I haven't really gotten to the point of burning myself out. In fact, I need to be challenging myself to do more, try other things. I've, I'm, I'm nowhere close to that. I got nothing to worry about. But yeah, the first um, video upload of We Lost Internet, and this is how I'm adjusting to it, was the breakfast at Pillarney's. <laughs> Well, uh, I have I have this weird sense of, uh, of humor of thinking up parodies for songs. Um, <laughs> uh, so one of the I know one of the channels I I watch. Um, you know, I'll, I'll leave that as a kind of a mystery. So we're continuing through August and still doing the. You know, I love tabletop games and all that, and starting to do more of the creative uh, thumbnails. The one for Runebound took me an hour, at least an hour. That thing was that was a beast to create because I was trying to get it close to um, the way it looks on the the box, but I think I made the letters a little too skinny. But. That was, that was an interesting challenge. Now we got a couple more talking videos. Um, the audio only chat uh, one was a very important lesson in, okay, I can make a video that's just nothing but static images with the sound recording and have it turn out decently and have it be something you know, I could potentially upload fast at home as you know, as soon as we get our internet back, which took until freaking early September. But I you know between the two uh, talking videos here, it's like okay, I really need to start challenging myself at finding things to talk about. It's it, it seems hard at times. And I'm trying to figure out uh, when I did the Cosmos build uh, chronologically because I think I worked on it somewhere around the end of the tabletops, tabletop games 
uh, features, but it got released later. So on to the next section. So I wanted to finish out the tabletop games talks with, you know, the honorable mentions, the tier list, and just, you know, leave, try to leave board games behind and try to do something different. I had a hard time doing that. <laughs> um, I ended up talking about games that I used to own. And of course, the very first game I list, Root, I'm pretty sure is the first one I listed on it. And uh, I ended up buying that again. But, anyway. What really surprised me, though, was uh, doing the chatting video for anime and having that get that many views. It's like, you know, 30 some odd views, and it's kind of stuck there right now. But I just kind of amazed that it did you know I want I, I hesitate to say well because you look at the average view duration it's like it's not that much I feel like I'm the only one who who listened to it all the way through and I realize how many people are watching listening all the way through on my stuff I don't know I can't be too sure but, uh, but that was, that was interesting to see, but I was starting to, I, was, I think this is the point where I'm starting to run out of ideas because I ended up going right back to tabletop games with the player nexus series, um, and went with, uh, this, this exciting card game I picked up called, uh, Vice Sports. That, you know, released the holiday production set for English edition. And figuring out figuring out that game's been, been fun. But I root... It's like, I'm okay with just collecting the cards, but I still want to find people to play, play, play that game with. But... Player Nexus, the series of talking about the rules and strategies for the games and I'm not entirely sure I did that as well as I could but at least as some idea so there's the cosmos build stream or video and yeah I bought the uh, I bought cosmos model kit from an anime store in, uh, in another town it's like this is cool I really want to build this but I'm also thinking Hey, I could probably try to make a video out of this. Um, and yeah, the the thing I did with the two model building videos was uh, manually putting in subtitles. And I'm wondering if that ever truly got appreciated because um, the first one didn't really get a whole lot of views. But the second one did, and you know, got likes. So, well, it's like, I wonder how many people actually cared that I put in the subtitles for stuff. You know, that's why I got to my September chat. And it's like, okay, I'm debating whether or not to do a transcript for this, and I'm not sure I want to do something like, like manually subtitling after that, since I'm pretty sure YouTube has you know that option. Well, this is where I finished out the uh, the Player Nexus series with uh, Root, since hey, I picked it up again. Uh, Go, because I love the game, and damn it, I want to play with more people again. And Soccer Arms, because hey, it's it's a game that people are liking the fact that I talked about on my channel. And, I don't know, it, it might be something to return to. Um, so Cosmos Build only had the two, the two videos, and I uh, just finished building the model, um, uh, off, uh, you know, offline, because I think I wanted to, wanted to do a third video, and my sister's kid is just being a gigantic pain, and 
And that's that's one of the factors in me considering maybe not doing doing much more after this, but we'll see. Finding the days like I can today to to be able to talk about stuff, it helps. So here we are at the end of the line with um, the game design chats because really I just can't get my head out of the games. I just maybe it's my thing. Maybe I should just stick with it and keep making it my thing. And um, the first and third videos, I was you know, able to do more uh, pictures for than the second one. I think the second one was just kind of in a hurry, and I just wanted it done. Uh, I maybe should have taken more time with that one. Uh, make it a nice, nice one. Uh, and then there's the two minute bits of d trying to role play as characters. Because honestly, no, I, I, in my personal view, I see myself as I suck at role playing. I could be wrong. Maybe I'm just being too hard on myself, but. Um, it feels weird to try to pretend to be something else. Something about being Pillar Nexus is, you know, it seems like the closest to being really me. Uh, sure, uh, if, uh, I almost want to like, it, it would be kind of interesting if I could change my, my real name to Pillar Nexus, but that's... No, that's just downright silly, but that's that's the closest to to the real me, you know. Likes likes games and anime and, and stuff. An old thirty-something tabletop gamer. <laughs> that's an ancient gladiator. But um, but yeah, the two-minute bits is just something to try to stretch my creative legs and. At first, it's supposed to be five minutes. <laughs> if you look at the two, that's clearly a five that's been um, flipped. And yeah, um, I did the first bit, and it's like this is this is nowhere close to five minutes. This is less than two. So it's like okay, I'm just gonna say the rest of the bits are gonna be two two minutes or less, and. I'm surprised that one got the views that it did. Um, but I imagine the first, the very first bit being the most mind-numbingly boring character speech ever. To just twist your brain into a pretzel. I, I, can't, I can imagine nobody really wanted to get past that one. But anyway. I started thinking about um, my old story ideas as well. It's like... Do, do I try to go back into the game design vault story? Or do I look at stuff like Uncity? Or uh, Wave Breakers? Or Day of the Ogre? Or that stuff. And it says, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try something with Uncity and see if maybe I can get something out of it. Uh, the Inventor is actually some something I came up with kind of recently I was thinking about how can I turn the the instances from the two minute bits into an actual like short story so I was like okay I have this guy and he's dealing with the manager who's got that that boring ass speech who's <laughs> going home and and hearing this board game store advertisement and then he's like oh I guess you know and on the way home, he's got to stop by a lounge, and it's the lounge where lovers are coming back together. And he gets home, get some food, and watch the TV. And then the TVs that show, you know, having this angel and all that. And he decides, oh, I'm going to go visit the game store after all. And it's, traffic is backed up by the crazy person claiming to be part of the Black Iron Empire. <laughs> and then. And then the twist at the end of all that was was fun, but if what more I should present from uh, Uncity because 
that one's that one is a beast of a world building exercise that that I had. Um, that started back in like 2014. Was like I'm starting to have these weird ass dreams, and then 2015 is like okay, I'm gonna take these weird ass dreams to try to make a story out of them. I'll twist them to my own vision, and. I wound up adding a lot of stuff to it afterwards. It was supposed to be done in like September 2016 and for the most part it was. And then I just kind of had some other ideas and I just kind of added them in there as you know other things. A lot of stuff kind of inspired by real world stuff. For me on City is it's catharsis. It's a way to just get all this weird crap out of my head and try to get my focus back on the real world. And now we get into the comments. Um, there's one I left out because it was just like, what is this? It, the hell are they talking about? Forget it. Um, this one is for the other answers questions that I kind of put there as... Uh, stuff that got cut out and it's like how 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 did my streaming fail this this badly you know um and i want to i almost want to go back and redo that stream as a video and cover the questions properly but i almost feel like it's kind of too late now In general, I just ended up leaving a bunch of comments on some of my videos just because I keep forgetting things. And I don't, I don't know if it's like the wisest of decisions, but I, I, I want to be, I want things to be clearer, you know. But there were, there, there were at least a few comments from other people. It's like, you know, don't, I don't know, one post daily because you might burn out or, you know, have you gotten the, the new one yet? And it's like, I'm keeping an eye on, you know, those games, but in general, it's just, I want to keep things clearer on the things that I'm trying to get across. At the end of all that, I'm finally at the point where I'm asking myself, you know, six months of work, well, that's done, now what? And I'm looking at... Uh, featuring my costume collection as something, maybe even doing a chatting video of I'm working on stitching something for a costume and, you know, talking about stuff there. Uh, Uncity as a continuing project because I've just barely scratched the surface on that, that world, um, especially, you know, Uproot. And a bunch of other organizations as well. And, you know, I, I still love my games. I, I want to... I could... There's there's room to feature, you know, more games out of my collection. Maybe go back to the honorable mentions and start with those. But... Uh, if you've reached this point, I just want to say thank you very much for watching. And... I don't know what's going to happen after after today um but i'll just say here's hoping that the next six months um go well because uh, i remember back in march there's you know how i was like uh tweeting out you know audition stuff and it's like us i will see you in, in a year and you know i'm I don't know if that would actually be enough, be good enough for you know Hollow Life, but I do want to get in at least a year of making things to share with others, just to, just for that experience. You know, I do a lot of crazy, crazy ass things just for the experience. Whether it's riding my bike uh, to a town thirty some odd miles away, or taking or taking a bus trip to uh, to somewhere just because I need to
get out of town for long enough to see, you know, the the real world. But I'm sure this is going to do, this is going to, I am sure that my channel is going to grow a little bit more if I can keep it going. Because if I don't keep it going, it's just going to be stuck here. I think the big thing for for me is how do I get people to check me out? That's that's going to be the real challenge is um, marketing this to people and saying, "Hey, I've got content. It's it might be interesting. Please check it out." This has been Pillar Nexus, Andrew Gladiator. See you next month. <laughs>